In this video, we'll learn how to listen to the Ethereum blockchain in real time and record blocks using Go. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe down below and make sure to click that notification icon so you can receive updates as soon as I post new videos. Let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using Go 1.11 with Go module support. So we're gonna go ahead and initialize our module like so. This creates a new go.mod file. As you can see, our module has been created with the GitHub address, project, or vendor name, and the project name. Now let's open our main.go file, set package to main, import the libraries or packages that we'll need, create the main function. First thing we need to do is create an Ethereum client using ethclient.dial, and we're gonna use the Robsten network on Infura and use WebSockets. We're also gonna check for errors. Then we're gonna create a channel called headers. And then with this channel, we're gonna use client.subscribe new head, which creates a, another subscription channel that we can listen to. And basically all this does is start listening to the blockchain from the current time and then push in new blocks as they are received on the blockchain. We're also gonna check for errors here. Next, we're gonna create an infinite loop to go ahead and loop continuously. And then we're gonna use a select statement, which is kind of like a switch statement, but for channels in Go. And then we're gonna create the first case. The first case is uh, any errors we get, we're gonna log the errors. The second case is we're gonna listen for any new headers. So as a header is pushed into the channel, we're gonna print that hash. And then from that hash, we're gonna get the block by that hash. So we'd use the client.block by hash function. And then uh, once we get that hash, uh, we can start using it. If there are any errors, of course, log the error. And then finally, once we get all the hash information, we're gonna print out the block hash, the block number, uh, the timestamp, the nonce, and the number of transactions within that block. Now, if we run main.go, Go will start finding the packages that we need, download them, and once it's finished, you'll start seeing blocks appear. As you can see, we've already got a few blocks with hash, number, time, nonce, and transaction count. And that's it. That's how you listen to blocks in real time using Go and Ethereum. Just a quick update, I'm actually working on a brand new project. And if you'd like to stay up to date on that project and when I actually come out with more information, I have a newsletter. So if you go ahead and subscribe to that newsletter, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, go ahead and share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.